Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Isa Ma and I'm a Chinese Muslim. Over the years I've come to realize that people in the world don't know that much about Chinese Muslims. So here is a quick list of five things that you perhaps didn't know about Chinese Muslims. Number one, Islam has had a long history in China. Most historians believe Islam first came to China during the Tang Dynasty, which was more than 1300 years ago. So basically, only a few decades after Prophet Muhammad ﷺ passed away, Islam already made its presence in China and stayed ever since. So next time we meet a Chinese Muslim, don't assume he's a river just because he's Chinese. It's possible that his ancestor was already a sheikh at a time when your ancestor hadn't even heard about Islam yet. Number two, the Chinese Muslim population is perhaps larger than you thought. You know, sometimes people come up to me in the masjid or in the prayer room and ask me if I'm Indonesian or Malaysian. They don't even give me a chance to be Chinese. Are you Malaysian or Indonesian? Um, actually, I'm Chinese. Um, Malaysian Chinese or Indonesian Chinese? No, just Chinese, like Chinese Chinese. Oh. And I tell them, actually, I'm from China. And they go, what? There are Muslims in China? And I say, yeah, a little bit more than 20 million. That's right, the Muslim population in China is more than 20 million, which is more than some of the Muslim countries in the world. However, I get it, you know, compare that to the 1.4 billion total Chinese population, it's a small percentage, maybe only 1.64%, but still, it's a large number. Number three, we have to acknowledge the internal diversity among Chinese Muslims. First of all, there are 10 ethnic groups in China that are Muslims. When we hear about Chinese Muslims, uh, recently, due to the recent events and the media coverage of them, we immediately think about the Uyghur Muslims. May Allah ease their affairs and protect them from any harm. However, they are only one of the 10 ethnic groups in China that are Muslims, and not even the largest group in terms of population. The largest uh, Muslim ethnic group in China are the Hui people, and I am a Hui Muslim. Apart from the Huis and the Uyghurs, there are also Hasaka, Uzbeke, Kerkezi, Tajike, Tatar, Baan, Salah, Dongxiang. Uh, and that's only one side of the diversity of Chinese Muslims. They are also diverse in the sense that there are different schools of thought, different methodologies of practicing Islam, there are differences of opinion regarding certain scholarly issues. So when you talk about Chinese Muslim, you cannot presume that they are all the same just because they're all Chinese. We have to acknowledge the internal diversity. Number four, many of you might be thinking it must be really hard to find a halal restaurant or a masjid in China. But the reality is, in certain areas of China, there are more concentrated Muslim population than other parts. And in these areas, it's actually quite easy to find halal restaurants and uh, masajid. In northwestern China, for example, I've made a documentary about my hometown Lanzhou. You can, you can see it on my YouTube channel. And you will see that there are more than 100 masajid in the city and the halal restaurant is easily accessible. In southwestern China as well, there are some villages and towns that are majority Muslim. I've also shown some videos of Shadian. Uh, this is a town with uh, majority Muslim population and you can easily find halal restaurants and masajid. In my hometown, there are many Pakistani people doing business there and they don't find much difficulty being a Muslim uh, in this part. So northwestern China and southwestern China have a larger uh, Muslim population and they're more noticeable and uh, life will be easier as a Muslim in these areas in terms of food and convenience. Number five, another thing that happens to me a lot is when people hear I'm a Chinese Muslim, they want to teach me how to make wulu, they want to teach me the alphabets of Arabic language, they want to uh, teach me the basics of Islam, they assume that I am very ignorant of Islam. But again, the reality is there are many hafaz in China that can recite the Quran beautifully with very good tajweed. There are scholars in China that have uh, you know, studied in Medina or Azhar or other parts of the world and have got ijaza in different subjects including tafsir or hadith or da'wah, you know, or fiqh, etc. There are great scholars in China with very um, strong uh, background and uh, storage of knowledge. I personally know a scholar, uh, Sheikh Musa Ma, and I've shown some videos of uh, him on my YouTube channel as well. He has a photographic memory of the Quran. I mean, whenever he quotes the Quran, he will tell you the line of the page of the surah. He will tell you on the third line of this page of this surah, this is the ayah, subhanAllah. And there are many uh, Chinese Muslim scholars that are not only very knowledgeable about Islam, but they are also well learned uh, about Chinese culture and Chinese history so they can explain Islam to the Chinese people in a way that the Chinese people can um, understand better and this happened uh, very prominently during the Ming Dynasty and the Qing Dynasty when a lot of Chinese Muslim uh, scholars wrote books 
that used uh, Chinese cultural elements and concepts to explain Islam to the Chinese people and it was very effective at the time and when I read these uh, scholarly books I sometimes get amazed by their wisdom uh, and uh, the amount of their knowledge and I still uh, learn from them uh, until this day so don't assume a Chinese Muslim is very ignorant of Islam uh, you, could be talk you could be talking to a scholar when you meet a Chinese Muslim uh, that, that is well respected in the Arab world or you know, in other Muslim countries so that is a quick list of five fun facts that perhaps you didn't know about Islam in China and the Muslims in China. Hope you've benefited from this video and please make dua for me so that I can more, make more beneficial videos and also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Jazakumullah khairan for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.